go out to reporter Tom George and take a look. How's it looking, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, it's gotten a little bit uh, more gusty in the last hour or so, and a uh, good thing they have this sign all tied up right now. It's a far cry from what it looked like earlier when it was about to look like it was going to topple over, and it's not the only place we've seen across the valley that had damage from the winds. At the corner of Charleston and Rainbow, Vegas's very own Leaning Tower of Pisa. Definitely leaning more than it was when I first got here. Joel Baer worried the leaning sign at this Albertsons parking lot could quickly become a toppled sign. I saw the sign and all tilted over and there was nobody here and the street wasn't closed off and I was just like, wow. Crews rushed to make sure the parking lot was blocked off. They tried to put tape up, but that just, that didn't work. It just blew away. They had to put up cones and tie down the sign with cables to keep it from falling over. They even towed two cars out of its path. The sign, just one casualty of the strong wind gusts across the valley. Trees toppled into streets off 215 in Cheyenne. And a viewer sent us this picture of a fallen gazebo, a reminder of the power of Mother Nature. It's gotten worse, and the winds are definitely not dying down, so. He's right, they're not dying down in the last hour or so. We've seen uh, the winds picking up a little bit. This area right now is still blocked off. They say that uh, it's unlikely that the sign will actually fall over, but they still have it blocked off just in case, in case those winds keep piling up. And for 